What is going on guys? It is yet again time to modify the Ram truck. So just like you saw in the video where I was showing all the things coming up in the future, it is the day to finally straight pipe the truck, tune the truck, and um, get all the emission stuff uh, deleted or temporarily um, disabled. Uh, we're not gonna do the EGR cooler and valve today. We are gonna straight pipe the truck though. So we're gonna eliminate all that DPF, all that extra nonsense that, uh, all, all the bad stuff, right? So obviously we got the tunes. We got our PPEI tunes and our EasyLink auto agent. And then we got the five inch aluminized uh, Flow Pro turbo back kit. And um, it's gonna be a nice one today. I learned from the leveling kit video not to start so late in the day. Um, it's barely gonna be eight. And if you've seen that video, it was hot. So we're, we're gonna start off while it's a little bit cooler. Um, get a couple extra hours to jumpstart everything. I got my trusty partner dog here, Titan. It's probably gonna go for a little swim later. I did start soaking everything in WD-40. Um, so if you wanna do this, now's the good time before you start everything, while you're getting prepared, getting all your tools and everything put together. Um, go ahead and hit all the nuts and bolts on the stock exhaust and um, it's gonna make life a lot easier if those things uh, come out a lot smoother. So unless you plan on cutting the downpipe altogether, which I strongly recommend you don't, uh, just in case you need to revert your truck back to stock, um, you will need to drop the transmission cross member. Um, that's the first thing I think you should work on if you decide to do this yourself, because these are some pretty snug nuts and bolts. You will need a 15th, 16th socket, and probably a 15, 16 deep socket as well, unless you have a, uh, a good set of wrenches. But the most effective way to loosen these two is to use two breakers, um, so you get a lot of leverage. And obviously you see the, the bolt head has a lot of, uh, I'm sorry, the nut has a lot of bolt head sticking through, so you're gonna need a deep socket to get to that. Okay, so with the bigger breaker bar that I showed you, I used it to crack these two loose. Um, and you don't need anything supporting the opposite end to crack them loose. Once they're loose, then you will need to hold that. And um, you can just use your hands. You can hold that other breaker with your hand. Um, you know, they're not on there so, 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 uh, so strong that it needs to be supported against anything like a wing nut or anything. You can do it with just your hands. But that's the thing, if you start removing all the piping and you cannot get these down, you're not going to be able to drop your downpipe without cutting it. So I would do this first so that way you know that you can get this, this um, cross member loose and dropped. And then you'll also want a jack um, to support the transmission maybe or a jack stand that you can prop up against the transmission when it comes time to drop this. And obviously I'm going to show you guys uh, what I do to accomplish that. But yes. Um, I would start here so that way you don't take all the piping down to realize or only to realize that you cannot drop the cross member and then you're stuck with either putting everything back on and taking it to a shop where somebody else will do it or you're going to have to cut the down pipe which again I strongly recommend that you don't just because they are expensive if you need to revert your truck back to stock for whatever reason. Okay so um, we got most of the old hardware uh, unbolted and we're pretty ready to start taking it out so let me show you guys what I went ahead and did um, I didn't really get everything videotaped because I was blessed with a trash truck who was picking up trash which created a ton of noise and they were also shampooing the, uh, the carpets next door so they had one of those shop vans out here um, running so you wouldn't have been able to hear anything but let me go ahead and show you a little bit of what I did. So just like when we did the leveling kit, um, I removed the fender guard and you don't need to do it, but it makes getting this clamp off the turbo and the downpipe a lot easier um, just because it's in a tough, tough place there. So once you get this little um, bolt loosened, um, the door kind of just swings open and you may need to pry at that clamp a little bit depending on how long yours has been on the truck. So underneath we removed all the sensors everything and then just a couple nuts and bolts here so you got four here then you got three over there 
and once you get those loosened and removed you can just hit this with the hammer it should come undone um, again make sure you get all these little sensors and lines removed um, I don't need to go too much in the detail on removing those you can just spot them remove them and then all the harnesses make sure you get all the harnesses unclamped still working on this one here I don't know how the heck to get this one off but we will get it done and all we have left to do now is go ahead and start removing each component so I went ahead and loosened everything first um, just so it makes moving stuff a lot easier so I'm probably gonna drop the downpipe get rid of this one this one then the tailpipe in that order all right so we finally got all the old crap out that was actually a pain in the ass. Um, that actually took a lot more effort than I was anticipating it was going to. Um, but in the process, we found out some good news. I did not need to drop the cross member for the axle support in order to get the downpipe out and the new one in. Um, the new one is resting in there right now and I'll show you how I got that in there. I'm um, just because it can be a little challenging if you're by yourself. But yeah, that was pretty relieving to find out that we didn't need to drop that. Um, I have a 2016 Ram, so maybe older Ram trucks, like 12, uh, maybe 2012, thir you know, 13, 14 trucks, you may need to. But um, let me show you, let me show you how the downpipe's resting in there. All right, so the way I got it in is I supported the bottom of it with a jack stand, and removing this fender liner made a world of difference. So uh, the jack stand supported the bottom of it. And then I was able to just kind of manipulate it up here and get the clamp around it and I got it attached to the turbo now. But yeah, like I said, I did not need to drop the cross member for whatever reason. Um, the old one came right out and I think, well, no, I was going to say maybe having the panel removed helped, but it wouldn't have, you know, protruded this far. Maybe right here um, when I rotated it, it, it had a little bit more room to kind of jimmy out, but it did not take a lot of effort at all getting it out. So um, you may or may not have to drop your member depending on what your truck you have. Okay, so now that the downpipe is in and all the old stuff is out, um, I'm actually going to tune the truck now just to make sure that I don't have any problems in the future. Because the last thing you want is to do all this stuff, then tune your truck to find out that your tunes weren't loaded, um, you need to call the company to troubleshoot your vehicle, so I'm gonna go into depth later about the tunes and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the tunes in a separate, separate video. Um, but just for my sake and my peace of mind, I'm gonna tune the truck now, make sure everything's good. Um, I'm gonna start it the way it is right now just to make sure again, no check engine light. Um, everything's good to go, the tunes work. But like I said, I will make you guys a video specific to tuning and um, we'll, get more, we'll do more on that later. But um, as soon as I find out that the truck's good, I'm gonna continue with the rest of the piping and then uh, we'll be good to go. So tuning the truck went smooth. I started it up and there's no check engine lights or anything. So we're gonna go ahead and press on and install the rest of the pipes. Um, like I said, I will put out a video on tuning your vehicle with the Easy Link module. It's very easy, but um, I guess it's one of those things that you wanna watch somebody do it in person just so that way uh, you have fewer questions, I suppose. So yeah, everything's good. Um, the truck is, truck sounds freaking mean. It only has a downpipe in. No check engine lights. Um, all the emissions are shut off. So all that's left to do is continue uh, adding the rest of the pipes. So we finally got all the old stuff out. And we got the new pipes installed under the ram. There's a trail hawk in the ram. We finally got all the Flow Pro pipes installed. Let's see if we can get a good view on them. No more DPF. Nothing but straight pipe. All the way down. So another thing you may want to consider is to take time to zip tie all your old connections just so they're not dangling and if you ever want to revert your truck back to stock um, these things won't get all 
destroyed and chewed up by the road and everything. And just another look at all the stuff that we pulled off. Oh man, this thing weighed at least 60, 70 pounds. That is a heavy mf -er. Um Finally got it all taken out. Uh, taking that stuff out was actually pretty difficult just because it was heavy. Um, if you had somebody to help you, it would have made it a lot easier, but totally doable. I did everything by myself, you know, even holding and the, the new downpipe was pretty easy just by using a jack stand like I showed you guys. So yeah, we got the, the, uh, the truck deleted. It's tuned, so the EGR is completely disabled. So I've actually yet to install the actual EGR deletion kit. I'm probably going to do that in the next couple days, um, just when I get the time. And as you can see, we've finally got some more goodies in the mail, so just some more stuff to look forward to. We got our dual stabilizer kit here, um, so we're going to install this hopefully um, within the next couple of days also. So I'll do a separate video on installing the EGR deletion kit, a separate video for installing the stabilizer kit. And um, yeah, we're just trucking right along with the Ram, um, getting this baby from stock to upgraded, you know, with just some subtle modifications, nothing too crazy. But um, yeah, we finally got the DPF done. We got the truck tuned. So yeah, like I said, just look out for the uh, EGR deletion kit, which will be next. And then following that, we'll do the dual stabilizer kit. Um, I'll do my best to show you how to put that on. Um, definitely the EGR kit, just because this one, like I said, doesn't come with directions. Um, I'll link everything down below. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.